Hi, I'm Mikata, and this is King Viserys, the Poison Dagger Necromancer. This is the first build from the House of the Dragon series that I've just started. Let's hop into this one so I can explain a bit more about it. Let me show you the inspiration for this build. First, let me tell you why I built King Viserys as the Necromancer. The image of this clip from the video already tells it. So his illness makes him look a lot like the Necromancer in Diablo 2. So and this is where the Poison Dagger comes into play. King Viserys definitely holds a dagger and he is a Necromancer and the rest goes. Now let me show you the skills, the build. So you can see over here I have seven summons. This is the King's Guard. Here is the build. I have Plague mainly for the Poison Nova on Striking, also lower resist on Struck is pretty helpful and, and every other mod of this weapon is pretty, pretty nice and fits the build as much as possible. Crown of Ages because this is a king and I've put two Poison Resistance jewels in it. Bone Armor so I can proc bone armor, which greatly improves my survivability. This is a bit of a compromise. The real endgame character is in Project Diablo 2, where you can get bone armor on striking. There is such affix. Or you can get blade shield. There is really neat combo where bone armor procs all the time. I'm not there yet in Project Diablo. I've used Homunculus, High Lords, Go Riders, Arachnid Mesh, Safety Ring with Attack Rating and some Life, Raven Frost, and Trangle Gloves. Poison Charm, King's Guard is dying. Poisoning Sunder Charm, Resists, and Bone and Poison Skillers. On swap, I have Demon Limb. Or the enchant. Now the stats. With enchant, I've put enough dexterity to, to have the magical number of 10,000 attack rating, a lot of strength so I can equip the crown of ages, and the rest of the points dump into vitality. You can see I have pretty good resists, I even could remove some of the charms and put Another skiller that doesn't help that much. The build. I've put one point into the summoning tree so I can get access to revive. And just for sake of the build, I, re re I revived six minions so I can get to the number seven of King's Guard. You can resurrect as many mobs and you can revive as many mobs as you want. I went for Blood Golem, any other of the golems seems good enough. Iron Golem with some aura will be pretty sweet as well. No points into curses, mainly because I, I don't have enough points to, to invest into curses as well. And now the poison and bone skills. 20 points into Poison Dagger, where the biggest benefit is the attack rating. Poison Explosion is also 20 points, but I've put the 20 points here, so I have the Poison Nova Synergy. And I proc the Poison Nova from the Plague Dagger. It's not super efficient, it's not the greatest invention in human history, but that's the best I could get in Diablo to resurrect. One point bone armor and you can see 20 points into bone wall and bone prison. Mostly for the bone armor synergy. So when I'm poison dagger necromancer and I want to be in the melee, I need survivability. 
and the survivability of this build come from, comes from bone armor. Unfortunately, the 10, the 15 percent chance on struck is not enough all the time. Sometimes I have to cast bone armor myself. That's that's the deal. I could I could also tweak the gear a bit. I saw that I forgot. I can put either two burns in the crown of ages to have lower poison damage, but to have more damage reduction and to put one one jewel in the homunculus, any other var variation, I'll put one burn into the homunculus because uh, it sits empty right now and to check the advanced sheet so I have 23% damage reduction. On swap I also have storm shield which bumps the physical damage reduction. I have 15 points over here and 35 here. Actually it, it puts me on the maximum puts me on 50% damage reduction. So again I could use it and put another poison facet over here and to use the storm shield instead of homunculus it is just another variation of the build and something that could be tested and tried now let's take a look at gameplay of this build now i've already mentioned that this build is a compromise it's not as good as it could be in project diablo 2 you saw that I procced Poison Nova pretty quickly. So procced the armor just right now. Procced lower resist. So this is the, the perfect scenario where a few monsters get my King's Guard again. Right, right now I'm out of the bone armor. So I have to cast it again. And I have to go and poke the different mobs. One big thing that is missing when I use the bone armor over Enigma is the mobility. So this is a big downside of the current setup that I have. Once again, I almost run out of bone armor. But for Players one as a melee necromancer, this is good enough in my opinion. Fortunately, the poison damage from the poison dagger isn't sufficient enough. Let's see on the sheet it is between eighty and ninety thousand. It's just not enough. The, the, the lifespan of 70 seconds are just too much. Let's revive some more monsters. What's in the crystalline passage for me? I can cast a bone wall, help with crowd control I expect these snow drifters to be a good option for surviving and I have corpse explosion as well which is the best necromancer skill by far so if I went to using that monster just instant to die it's, it totally removes the need to be a melody so key it's low some sneaks 
if you haven't seen my channel, I have a couple of streams with the Poison Dagger Necromancer with King Viserys in Project Diablo 2 Season 9, where this build really shines and it performs way, way, way better. But it is what we have in Diablo 2 Resurrected. So thank you so much for joining this first build from the House of the Dragon series that I've just started. I hope you enjoy this content. Let me know in the comments if there is a character that you'd like to see. Right now I start with House of the Dragon. I have some ideas for the Game of Thrones series. We'll see how far I can get. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!